I will speak without a face. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen, and uh, thank you very much for inviting me today to discuss these important challenges, regional challenges. Uh, I'm uh, representing uh, Hydroelectrica, uh, which is the top power generator in Romania. I would say about 38% uh, of the total electricity which was generated in 2019 was uh, generated by us. Uh, we produce electricity, we sell electricity, we perform ancillary services for the national energy system. We provide water management services for uh, all kinds of uh, uh, services that we provide, uh, ensuring navigation on the Danube uh, by uh, locking and uh, achieve a control and assure attenuation for flood waves uh, from the tragic or catastrophic flows. Um, we discussed about these challenges, and uh, in order to address them, uh, one of the bets Hydroelectrica has for the future is uh, innovation, innovation and technology. And uh, through this, uh, Hydroelectrica would like to um, uh, change the paradigm, because uh, when you say uh, Hydroelectrica, of course, what you think about is, as I mentioned before, hydropower. Uh, we would like to try to uh, diversify and we will try to get some other green electricity uh, means. Uh, as you mentioned, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Moderator, uh, one of the solutions that we choose is the hydrogen production. And uh, um, uh, as the European Commission's uh, strategy uh, uh, for the renewable hydrogen mentioned, uh, the green uh, hydrogen uh, uh, is the one which is produced uh, through the electrolysis of uh, the water in an electrolyzer, powered, of course, by electricity. And uh, with uh, this electricity stemming from the renewable uh, resources. Uh, such hydrogen, the green hydrogen, is, uh, has very limited emissions across its full life cycle. And uh, uh, as a tendency, as a trend, uh, generally and globally, the green hydrogen production costs are expected to quickly decrease in the near future, getting increasingly competitive with the blue hydrogen, which currently is the basis for uh, anybody who would discuss hydrogen. Um, some uh, data and facts to put us into the perspective. According to the European Union strategy, hydrogen strategy, at least uh, six uh, gigawatts of renewable hydrogen electrolyzer should be installed in the European Union by 2024. Uh, about 40 gigawatts of renewable hydrogen electrolyzers should be by 2030. And 500 gigawatts by 2050. And this is all uh, in order to reach the climatic and uh, Green Deal objectives. Uh, coming into a more concrete uh, uh, level, a more concrete plan, uh, the project that uh, Hydroelectrica is currently pursuing with uh, some uh, partners uh, from, uh, from the West uh, the current project is split into three distinct areas of operation. Uh, the first one, which is the supply or production, it's the upstream part of the business. Uh, it takes the place in Romania and hence the, the regional importance for it. It's about the production, the conversion for transport and transport to a port on the Danube. That means uh, that uh, uh, we are integrated suppliers, uh, Hydroelectrica and uh, some of the partners that we discussed, dealing with the renewables and from these renewables to produce hydrogen, as well as turning the LOHC, the liquid organic hydrogen carrier, making the hydrogenation of this LOHC into an LOHC plant and transporting it to the Danube port, as I mentioned. Uh, for this, uh, the partnership will consider a mix and match between uh, hydropower and on-grid hydropower, as well as uh, wind power, the off-grid wind power. Uh, 
for this, uh, we have, of course, to look for a conveniently located port on the Danube in order to uh, put it uh, prepared for transportation. Now we pass to the second uh, area of the operation, which is uh, transport on the Danube, uh, which will be done, of course, through a logistic partner, which is specialized in Danube transportation. Uh, it proved that uh, the first uh, pre-feasibility uh, studies show that uh, LOHC and transportation by ship or barge likely offer the best ratio of cost efficiency and ease of implementation. That's why it is uh, the choice of the uh, initiative of the project to use Danube as a transportation corridor. If you want to think of it, it's like a, it's like a floating pipeline. pipeline. Uh, it's a closed system with a designated fleet operating in a carousel type cycle of loading and unloading the LOHC between the production, the upstream side, and the demand and the consumption side. Uh, because we mentioned it, let's also explain the third part of the, of the operation, which is the demand or consumption part. Uh, for the business case that we are considering with our partners, that would be uh, presumably uh, Germany and Austria. Uh, the transportation via Danube from Romania to these locations. And while there, the transport uh, to the port, reconversion of the, um, of the hydrogen, and then offer it to the end users. Uh, mainly, this is a high volume uh, consumer or consumers under some long-term offtake agreement. This is the way that the business case uh, considered. Uh, just to discuss uh, briefly about the funding of the project, um, together with our partners, we are thinking on, uh, on an IPSI, on uh, hydrogen technologies and systems, in order to identify also uh, some uh, Funding opportunities, which are the European all kind of range, all, all kind of uh, European funding, a whole range of European funding, including the financing through the EIB. Uh, to qualify as an IPSI, uh, the project must be, of course, of a great importance to the achieving the environmental, energy, or transport policy of the EU, which we think uh, the project qualifies. Uh, IPSI funding stems for member states' budgets, of course, it's all related on them, and it's up to the member states uh, to design an IPSI and define when to allocate the funding for a possible hydrogen-dedicated IPSI. We expect the IPSI process to start uh, on the member states' level in the fourth quarter of 2020, so we are uh, pretty advanced on this. We expect late September with uh, calls for expression uh, of interest. And uh, the most active states currently are Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. Uh, internally, regarding our partnership, uh, together with our partners, we are focusing on the shaping of the project, uh, mainly uh, building the partnership, preparing, of course, the IPSI application and uh, setting up the project uh, governance. Uh, I would like to uh, finish with, uh, with a little joke. Uh, we at uh, Hydroelectrica, uh, paraphrasing some famous novel or films which were made, Fifty Shades of Grey, we are experiencing now and we are trying to discover Fifty Shades of Green by trying to become greener and greener by the day. Thank you very much for your attention, gentlemen.